Hello Aries, Elsie here to do your reading. It is for the week ahead, my friends. Welcome to Fire Day, my fire fam. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you. So we are going to uh, use a couple of Oracle decks this week. Uh, we are reading for the week ahead. It's always for the week ahead. You will know that if you've been here before, uh, that my readings, no matter when you find them, are always for the week ahead. If you are watching this in real time, this is for the last few days of July and the first few days of August. And so let's find out what's coming up for you in the week ahead. We'll start with... We'll start with the Psychic Tarot. Let's find out what's going on for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Aries, if you're interested in a private read, please look below this video pinned to the comments is all the information you'll need to, uh, to book me if that's what you'd like to do with your time. All right, let's find out what's going on with Aries, please. What does Aries need to know for the week ahead? We have Stand Your Ground, Aries discontent and boredom in the shadow look i feel like what it's saying here is that there's something going on here where i want you to stand your ground even though even though that maybe your emotions are telling you to do something different because i feel like somebody here is um is in the battle of something it feels like um can I say it feels like a battleground it feels like it's it's almost like maybe you're um maybe as a maybe you're in a relationship a friendship or maybe it's a relationship with a member of your family or maybe it's a love relationship but it feels like you have you've said something and you're standing your ground on it and now you're in this energy of discontent and boredom if you've ever exited a relationship and you're the one that chose to do it you know that there's a time and space after that where you have this oh should i've done that and i feel like that's what this discontent and boredom is it feels like you're lonely maybe you're wondering if you made the right decision and i feel like you're into the shadow work here we do have the moon energy and the moon energy tells me that things are not as they seem so they could for you they could seem a little worse than they are i want to say discontent and boredom to me is the four of cups it feels like maybe you've been rejected or you're feeling rejected or maybe you've rejected someone else maybe you're rejecting the moon energy but i feel like you said something and i don't think you should go back i think you should stand your ground on it whether you are bored and lonely and in living in discontent or not um the shadow sometimes the shadow wins what song is that sorry coming up with uh some music right away and it's up uh, brave that's what it is sarah borellis she says sometimes the shadow wins and sometimes it does but i feel like you need to stand your ground in your shadow or get to doing some shadow work here bottom of the deck we do have the power card that is um the strength card so it's encouraging you to be courageous to fall into your energy of the lion maybe you have a leo placement somewhere possibly um maybe it's it's you know sun moon rising venus or jupiter maybe you're not here for your sun sign right so we do have the the moon energy that's here right and i feel like there is stuff in here that you need to poke around in i'm going to be honest it feels like you need to get familiar with the shadow side tell me more about aries please tell me more about aries what else do we need to know about aries please Ooh, okay We've got impulse. Yes, don't act impulsively, my friend. And this is your tendency, right, Aries? This is your tendency to possibly, when you get into a place where you feel that your back is against the wall, maybe your ego gets up, right? And you you may act impulsively. And so I feel like you're supposed to stand your ground and even though it's uncomfortable, get comfortable with the uncomfortable feeling of being in this energy of you don't know what comes next. But just stand your ground, my friend. Shh silence is an answer if you're dealing with somebody where you're giving them silence right now giving them space giving them silence and waiting for them to make up their mind about what they're going to do let them come forward then i suggest you stand your ground silence is an answer we do have ego don't let your ego pull you pull you out of this look the discontent and the boredom i feel is like you know this there's a as we look in the back here there's a um a big towering castle in the back it's all green and i feel like you've got your back to that and i i want to say don't let your ego talk you out of this place where i feel that you need to be right now which is this discontent and boredom energy i feel like you need to be there right now feeling uncomfortable um, so you can get used to the uncomfortability if that makes any sense at all tell me about the shadow please 
I think you're supposed to be brave because the song that I keep getting in my head is that that uh, line keeps playing over and over in my head. Sometimes the shadow wins and sometimes it does, but I don't think it will this time. I think you just need to be brave. That song is Brave by Sarah Bareilles. Maybe it's your anthem for today. We do have uh, adventure. Interesting. So shadow work is an adventure. It definitely is. It will take you places that you've never been before. And uh, when you when you decide to duck into the shadow work here, it's scary at first, and it can be troublesome. Absolutely. But you know there are professionals that can help you with that if you need the need the professional help, right? But the adventure is that once the shadow work is done, you're standing in your power. You're standing in your power once that shadow work gets done, and that's where love is born. And not only love for others, but love for the self. Your heart chakra opens and things start to move forward with the Wheel of Destiny, which is the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like you're on the right track. You're on the right path. You're right where you're supposed to be. We've got Illuminate. I feel like you're going to be getting some... You're going to be illuminating the shadow work here. And I feel like you're going to be figuring out why you've been getting all of these synchronicities. It's been inviting you to get into the flow. And that means connect to yourself. Connect back to your source, right? I've got this little string between this chair, the chair and the moon here. Somebody here needs to connect back to, um, to their source. If you're getting synchronicities, it's because an illumination is about to come. You're about to get a realization of some sort here. And I feel like it's important that you that you do see this illumination. All right. We're working with a new deck, Aries. New deck alert. I think that you saw it. If you saw the sneak peek for the week that I put up on Monday, you would have saw this deck already. It's called This Might Hurt Tarot Deck, and that's what I'm going to be using today. And uh, it's a great deck, great energy. Tell me more about Aries, please. What else does Aries need to know? Tell me more about Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me more about Aries. We've got the Hermit energy. There it is. Stand your ground, my friend. Stand your ground. This is where the wisdom is, I believe, for you. Um, it is putting your back to the things that are not working for you. Don't act impulsively. I feel like you're supposed to be in this Hermit energy for a reason. Standing your ground in hermit energy and I think it's to try and um, how can I say shut off your impulsive behaviors um, uh, don't don't stand down I want to say it's really important that I it keeps coming up in my head so it's important that I tell you not to stand down but to stand in silence and find your wisdom and go looking for what it is that you need find your light what are you going to do we did get illuminate right I feel like you are going to have some sort of an illumination and you can see this this person's holding out this lamp in that lamp is is the the star card 17 which comes after the the after the tower so I feel like back here somewhere yesterday or before that there was probably some sort of a sh a, a tower moment here that I feel like you have gone into hermit mode about you're standing your ground here we have the two of wands you're trying to pick a direction sitting on the roof of the car with the map. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to prepare. I'm going to prepare to go somewhere and do something. I feel like you're trying to learn from the past here. That's what it looks like. Because this hermit energy is pointed into the past, and you don't want to repeat cycles. I feel like you're trying to understand your own patterns and cycles, Aries. Tell me about this discontent and boredom, please. We do have the emperor. Hmm... You have everything that you want, except it's like it's it's like you have you don't really have any need for wisdom. You have the wisdom. I feel like the the hermit is taking care of that energy. The emperor is also someone who's very um, who's the king of pentacles, so he's very good with their money. Who's the king of swords, so who's very invested in honest and truth, um, honesty and truth, and and making things right. And then of course the king of cups, right? Who is somebody who is you know um, emotionally available. Um, I feel like you, you've, uh, the king of uh, wands as well, right? Is somebody who's taking action or will not take action unless they're inspired. I feel like you, you are, I think you're standing your ground for a good reason. It's like, no, I'm the emperor. I did all the work. I did all the hard work. Now you can come to me if you want me. I feel like this, yes, could be a little bit of ego. But listen, I feel like the emperor does have to have a little bit of ego because the emperor is making decisions for the entire empire, all of the kingdoms right? It's a heavy load that you carry here. We do have uh, the Knight of Wands. I feel like you're about to make some sort of decision here. Tell me about the shadow, please. Tell me about the moon energy. There's some sort of adventure coming up that you don't see. 
And uh, tell me what that is, please. We've got the magician. It's anything that you want. Look, you've got all the aces in hand. You're the captain of the ship. It goes where you go. Where you decide to point it is, is where it goes. And I feel like what you're trying to do is uh, bring something from the dream state down to the earthly plane, I think is what you're trying to do. And I think you're doing that by doing some shadow work. You're trying to clear energy to find out exactly what it is that you want. Do you want love? Do you want conversation? Do you want money? Do you want inspiration? Do you want excitement? I feel like what you want is a long-term, steady, solid way to move forward. This could mean that we're talking about a relationship. This could mean that we're talking about your work life, right? This could be family. Take it as it resonates here. So I feel like you've got some unresolved shadow work. And I feel like you have decided that after leveling up here, that it's time to dig into that shadow work. But I think you're taking your tools with you because you are the magician, right? Knowing your worth, you're taking your tools into the shadow and you're ready to do some more shadow work. We're never done with the shadow work, by the way, <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> no, there's always going to be something that's going to crop up that we don't agree with or that it doesn't. Then we're like, whoa, why did that touch a nerve, right? There's always something that we're working on. Bottom of the deck, we have the five of pentacles. So I want to say that this discontent and this boredom, it does really feel like it's a standoff between you and someone else. Someone else who who would try to take advantage of you, someone who doesn't give you a whole lot of stability in your life, but demands a lot from you. They don't give you a lot, but they're willing and ready to take. So I feel like um, the Five of Pentacles is like, either you're left on the outside looking in or somebody else is. But I think that regardless, I feel like you're the one with, with all the patchwork on the jacket here. I feel like you're the one who's been through a lot because you're the King of Wands, right? The King of Wands is forged through fire. I feel like um, you would help anybody on the path for sure. But I feel like you're... Um, I feel like you're the one with the resources. You're the one that's not scared. You're the one that is um, moving forward to better your life. And it feels like this standing your ground with somebody here who just won't get up and do it for themselves. They're waiting for you to do it for them. That's what it feels like here. And this might not be your thing to fix. Maybe you feel like you should fix somebody. We do have the hanged man energy. I feel like you're sort of in this energy of... Um, this energy of... Uh, wanting to fix the path for someone else but understand please that when you decide that you're going to run in and help somebody save them from their karma you're actually interrupting their karma they're in the midst of learning a really important lesson and i think the important lesson that they need to learn here is you can't be that way with the emperor and expect the emperor to come running whenever you decide that that uh, you want the emperor to come running that's not the way that it works the emperor has wisdom the emperor knows that I'm just not going to, I'm not just going to go here, there, and everywhere just because the emperor can't be dragged around is what I want to say, I guess. All right, tell me more of what we need to know about um, about Aries. And we do have the two of wands and the hermit. So I feel like you're in the hermit energy preparing to do something, uh, preparing to pull out your wisdom and do something possibly impulsive. Um, and that could be you, depending on what's in your moon and your rising, right? We do have the hanged man energy. We have the death card. Ah, you're about to come out of this hanged man energy here. I feel like you've had some sort of realization. The hermit on the hermit is interesting energy. Yeah, universe is saying, I said what I said. You make sure that you've got whatever it is that you that you figure that you're going to figure out in, in this hermit energy. Go over the details and figure it out. Get your wisdom and stand your ground on the wisdom. Tell me about impulse, please. Stand your ground. Don't be impulsive here. The King of Pentacles, right? That's the one who's sturdy and solid and grounded. And I'm going to move really slowly. I'm going to check out the situation. I'm going to respond. I'm going to look at the details before I move anywhere. We have the King of Wands that shows up. Very interesting. You might be a, a fire sign or an Aries that has um, an earth placement, possibly. And then we do have the Six of Cups. So I feel like the reason that you want to act out impulsively, I think, is because this person is this person you're standing your ground with is a soulmate. Now, a soulmate doesn't have to be a romantic love, but it can be. For some of you, it will be. For others of you, it will be a friendship or it will be um, somebody who's maybe you're having a rough time with in your family. But I feel like it is somebody that you've known for a really long time. The, the thing is, is that we have the card of impulse here, but we also have the king. Now, the Knight of Wands is the one who's impulsive. The king is the the one who's learned their lesson right 
wisdom. The king has more wisdom than the knight of wands. And so I feel like you're holding back until you're inspired to step forward. And right now, I don't feel you're inspired. I feel like the king of pentacles is saying, whoa, hold back. Hold back and don't do anything. Stand your ground and be quiet to see what happens next. Tell me what is coming up in the middle of the week next week, please, for Aries. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. There's somebody here who, who I feel feels that they can do what they want, when they want to do it. They don't have to give you any stability. They don't got to back you up because you're the emperor. It's like you're the strong friend, right? There's that there's that uh, quote, right? Always uh, check on, it's the strong friends no one checks on because they feel like you've, you've got it all together. Well, I feel like you appear to everyone as the emperor, but I want to say that you have somebody around you in your immediate energy here, Aries, who is not complying. Like somebody who, not even, it's not even about compilation. It's not even about complying. It's about more like this person wants to go here, there, and everywhere. I'm I'm going to take that trip. I'm going to go out with the boys. I'm going to go out with the girls. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to, you know, flirt with whoever while you're not around. Like, it feels like this person is somebody who might be in your life who is taking for granted that you have all this wisdom as the emperor. And I feel like the discontent and boredom that you have um, is that you're dealing with somebody here who is also battling their ego. Tell me about uh, the Knight of Wands and the Emperor, please. I feel like you want to act impulsively. We have impulsive under here. But I feel like you are, your ego is saying, no, stand, stand your ground. Make sure you don't do that. We've got the Two of Wands. Again, we've got preparation, right? We've got the Nine of Pentacles. And we've got the Three of Wands. Look, it, it feels like yes, Fleetwood Mac, go your own way. That's what it feels like. It feels like you're about to say, look, I feel like I should go my own way. I'm just going to make my own decision. I feel like you're preparing Two of Wands to, um, you're kind of looking out there, looking at other options to see what your, what your options might be while you're in this discontent and boredom. It almost feels like life is living itself around you while you're taking care of all the heavy stuff. And that's exactly the feeling that I'm getting from the Knight of Wands here. I get the feeling from the Knight of Wands that they're preparing to go, to go on an adventure. They're adventuring, they're doing what they want, they're enjoying all of the money that you make, they're enjoying all of the status that you have there's somebody here who is who's in the sidecar <laughs> they are uh, somebody who is benefiting from your hard work they're benefiting from your business the business that you started somebody here is 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 spending the money that you make um, I feel like it's time for you because this emperor looks really confident. The nine of pentacles is about confidence, building yourself from the ground up. But I feel like you, you have acquired somebody in your life, friend, relationship related, maybe member of the family, somebody who likes to be around you because of what you offer. It feels like what you offer is um, money, stability. I feel like they like that about you, but I feel like you're the one that's doing all the work, getting all the wisdom. This is what happens when we're in a relationship that is vibrationally off. When that person doesn't really want to do anything and they're not at the level you are, which is go, go, go. Let's get stability on making decisions and building an empire. And the other person is like, yeah, I just would rather go to Cabo. You know what I mean? Like it's a difference of, of um, the way people are thinking here. So we have the two of wands and the three. And if you see the difference here is that somebody here is preparing and then this person is like taking the ace of wands, which is Aries energy, taking the ace of wands and leaving the two behind. And I feel like that's you. <clears throat> I feel like you're done dealing with people who are impulsive, people who um, make decisions without really checking with you first. And if it's a relationship, that's really important, right? If it's a committed relationship. And I feel like what you're doing this time is you are foregoing the ego and you are standing your ground. Even no matter how bored, boring it gets for you, no matter how discontent you feel, please get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Why is this ego here, please? I think your ego wants you to step forward and say, look, this is the last time. But I think that you've given this person a lot of last times, Aries. I've got the fool here. The ego wants you to step forward. We've got the moon energy because you're uncomfortable with being uncomfortable. Uh, the moon energy. And then we have the eight of cups. And I feel like you're your ego is telling you, step forward, do it. It's time for you to go another round with this person, maybe state your case again. But I feel like you've done that before and it's not working. 
We do have the moon here with the Eight of Cups. I feel like what this person doesn't understand, this Knight of Wands here, is that although they're providing you with passionate moments, they're providing you with excitement, uh, maybe they're the van life person, you know, but they're providing you with sort of the side of you that is like, I feel like you're very tied into being responsible and sturdy and you're running the ship and you're, you're the one making the money, carrying the mortgage. And this person is acting like, you know, like somebody who's in van life, right? They're doing whatever they want when they want to do it. And I think that what's going on here is I feel like your ego is telling you, go, you don't know what's going to happen. Go, step out and tell this person again, give them one last warning. But I feel like what you're going to do instead is you're just going to disconnect emotionally here. This stuff may have been happening for you, like started happening for you around the full moon, which is just on the 21st. I feel like somebody here has had some sort of a realization that it's time to clean some stuff up. That's what it feels like. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician, please. We have the Empress. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the Ace of Pentacles. I do feel that you're the one that's bringing in all the abundance, I want to say. You're the person that's bringing in all the abundance and you're exhausted. You're exhausted because you're opening all sorts of doors for yourself here. But it feels like you're doing it because you're the magician and you want to move forward and you want to build your empire and that's what you're doing. But it feels like you're doing it alone, even though you may have a partner, a best friend or a member of the family who is just spending it as quickly as you can make it. Because the Ten Pentacles is here. Look, your money's on point. I want to say that um, that what you need, what what is, what is your vibration is the Empress. This is somebody who looks at life the way you do. This person is also the person who is charged with the mortgage and the children and taking care of things and floating the boat and being the magician and all of that stuff. And I feel like you and this person... The Empress and the Emperor could have a lot of adventures, but I don't think that you see that this Empress is here. And I feel like it's because you're taking all your effort here to keep this Knight of Wands in your life. That's what it feels like. All of your efforts here are, are being set on this person to keep them in your life. Um, but I don't think it'll be for much longer because I feel like you're about to take the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles and go. You do have a, um, a soulmate match here, I'm going to say. A soulmate match here that I feel feels the same way you do or is probably going through a parallel situation with you. They're going through the same thing you're going through. And uh, this person who I feel is here is also very exhausted from, you know, taking care of everything and everyone because I think that's what you're doing as well. The Ace of Pentacles is here. Look, if you end up, if you know who the Empress is and that's part of your shadow work, I feel, that if, if this Empress is here, I feel the Empress is part of your shadow work. That I feel like you do want to connect with the Empress, but I feel like you you have this person in your life right now, whatever capacity they're in your life, and they're they're sort of dragging you around by the tail. I'm just saw <laughs> I just saw a big turtle dragging a little turtle around by its tail. Like I um I feel like it's uh it's like you you have learned how to move forward, but this other person keeps swimming away. That's what it feels like with the Knight of Wands here. Tell me about this uh, adventure in the shadow. I feel like I feel like if you're ready to venture into the shadow work here, I feel like it, it comes up with a lot of pentacles and an empress. I'm just saying. We've got the High Priestess, we've got the Five of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. You're very disconnected from your intuition because you're spending all of your time working. So I feel like you are the magician. You're trying out your tools, and I feel like it's working, but I feel like you're becoming exhausted with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, working and working and working and working. I feel like your your life is really just about work. So I feel like in the future here, we do have um, love begins, right? This could mean the Empress energy. I feel like this person and you are on, uh, this Knight of Wands person and you are on very different uh, vibrations. Yours is one of stability, wisdom. I got to do this thing. I got to build my empire. And this one is the one, just give me the money. I just want to get on the plane and go. Um, and so I feel like your power is in who you love because the person that you pick to love you or the one that you pick to love can either tank you or make you fly and so it's really important that you pick the right one the one that's on the same vibration as you but you're going to have to open this heart chakra first and uh we do have the wheel of fortune once you open the heart chakra i feel like the thing that you've been waiting for like this this perfect match for you the thing that you've been waiting for i feel like this uh, wheel of fortune tells me that it's yours if you want it. But I feel like it's going to have to... I feel like what's being taught to you right now, Aries, is to hold your ground. Because somebody here is used to dragging you around by the tail. And you need to stand your ground as the emperor. And the emperor here is really standing their ground. Right? You need to stand your ground as the emperor here and say, no, I'm going to grab my wand and I'm going to go. I don't really need to take orders from you because I'm the one that's in charge. 
So we do have the ace, uh, oh, sorry, the page of swords. And the page of swords tells me you're ready to face something. You're ready to face a challenge here. But first you need to clear your mind. You need to get some clarity and learn something. And I think you learn those things in the shadow period here. Um, you are going to get your, your stability, but it's going to take some choices, some changes. And the first one is to hold your ground. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for being here and watching, Aries. Love you guys. I'll be back because I'm always back. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.